sure we've all lied before. Whether it was not to hurt the other's feelings or to get out of doing something that we'd otherwise wouldn't have a good enough reason to avoid. So basically on my Twitter, at the Alpha J Show that you guys should follow, a tweet there gained so much traction that I promised to talk about Semper Lie, considering that many people have such a great reaction to just that one clip. So let's get into this. Also plug in my Discord. It starts off with Daffy trying to get Tina to split the parking ticket with them alongside Bugs. If you've noticed in my other two Looney Tunes shows reviews, a lot of episodes start off very calm and realistic. That's one thing I really do enjoy about the show. It can be really mundane tasks, and you would still be entertained by it because what makes the mundane here interesting is the retained dynamic relationship between Bug, Staffy, and all the others. Like so. Where am I from? Uh... Albania. Albania. I'm from Albania. It seems like the challenge of a lifetime with reboots, and making sure that the characters that said original audience grew up with is still able to be beloved, because it is a great skill in making sure that the characters are still who they are, even if they are in a different environment and even if they do portray themselves differently. So Daffy manipulates the situation three times the first time you saw, he's trying to get out of paying the parking ticket by begging Tina, and then also lying to the government about who exactly he is. Between those two and the following sets up what makes Bugs do do something he normally wouldn't do. The last manipulation of the situation was when Daffy pushed Bugs to pay for the ticket because it doubles after the 14th. But little does he know, it's not going to be a fun day for Bugs because... This weekend's the annual Peach Festival. Porky's going to ask me to go with him. So? So, I've gone there three years in a row, and it's horrible. Now, what I love about this opening scene is that Daffy here tells Bugs to lie. And Bugs, knowing Daffy's character, tells him that he doesn't do that, Daffy does that. And that's not in his character to do. It makes the situation a lot more interesting, knowing that Bugs is self-aware of Daffy's flaws as a duck. I guess you wouldn't say human being there, wouldn't you? They repeat the whole know your role joke that you see in the beginning of this review, and Daffy goes out of his way to find money to pay the parking ticket. And that leaves Bugs with three options. He either has to go to the Peach Festival, decline Porky's offer the honest way, or decline Porky's offer the dishonest way. Let's see what Bugs goes with. Hey Porky. That phone isn't calling anyone you scam. I don't think I can go to the Peach Festival this year. Pork, the truth is, I promised Lola I'd do something with her this weekend. I can't bring her along because she's moving this weekend. And I have to help her. I'm helping her move. Now, one thing that really did stood out to me with this is that there are incarnations of Bugs Bunny that doesn't really have an issue with lying or bending the truth. I can name quite a few instances in the theatrical shorts where Bugs got the upper hand through manipulating the situation. So to see him here as a first time liar, it really does show the differences in this portrayal of his character. When you lie for the first time, sometimes you generally go all out with it. Why say you can't go to the Peach Festival because you're sick, when you can involve an innocent bystander and let one party know that you're helping a third party move? In fact, what would you say? Let me know in the comments what your excuse here would be. But in the meantime, we get Porky with this newfound disappointing information. Just out and about bumping into the most suspicious Daffy I've seen so far, and there has been multiple times within the series where Daffy went out of his way to get attention by blatantly trying not to be seen. Now because Bugs is the only one in on this lie, when Porky tells Daffy this new information on Lola moving, it can't be because Bugs is lying, because the story already told you that Daffy is well aware that is not Bugs' character. Or is it now? He questions Porky. Lola's moving? Why is Lola moving? Where's she moving to? Especially when she just moved from somewhere to here. It is conversations like these that make people really go back to the Looney Tunes show. The dialogue here is unmatched when it comes to other slice of life shows. So Bugs, not hiding from the world, gets a slice of pizza to celebrate his lie. Little does he know the two worst people show up. Oh, hey Pork. Lola! It's such an uncomfortable scene here because, like, you know for a fact he's trying to make sure that they don't say anything that would reveal what's going on, but you can't push them away from the topic because then you'll look like the crazy one. And with our knowledge on Bugs lying, he does look super crazy and paranoid here. Especially with these facial expressions and trying to rush Speedy. And that also leads to one of the funniest jokes within the episode. Speedy! Look man, just because I'm fast doesn't mean my oven's fast. It's a regular oven. Now with the pizza, Porky can go and no one would be wiser to the lie that Bugs is trying to keep. Unfortunately, because Porky's a pure soul, as positive and optimistic as he can be, he congratulates Lola on her move. Except, she isn't in on the lie. Why'd you tell him I was moving? Yeah, why'd you say Lola wasn't even moving? I didn't say Lola. 
I said Viola. Viola's my sister. You have a sister? Well, we have to meet her before she moves. That, that would be nice. But Porky's going to the Peach Festival, so, you know, uh, if I forget the Peach Festival. It really does come to a height here with the lie, because while at first it involved actual people, now it involves a made-up person alongside a backstory and motivations that raise the stakes on this dumb lie. And it's a shame too, because if you've seen many episodes with this theme, then you would know it takes more to work the lie than to tell the truth and come clean. It would have taken less effort and less energy to just go to the Peach Festival than to now do what he does, which is a great lesson to learn. Unless you're one of those weird people who gets off on lying to people. So now with this fictional person at a real address who Bugs actually was helping to move, now he has to set up the situation to make them believe he isn't a liar. I lied to Porky so I wouldn't have to go to the Peach Festival with him. You would never lie. That's not your area. You don't want me to meet your sister because you're afraid we'll become best friends and then I won't have any time for you. Bun Bun, I will always have time for you. Always. Except right now, this is my me time. I came in here to eat by myself. You're kind of smothering me. Lola is always a highlight to any episode, but I want to highlight another important information about this moment here. Bugs flat out tells Lola that he lied to get out of the Peach Festival, and she doesn't believe him. His reputation is so strong in the honesty department that even if he says that he lied, it's not believable. A lesson to learn about reputation. We get a quick scene of Daffy trying to move in with Tina, but because she's extremely rooted in reality, not only does she want to move in with someone until she's married, she also rejects Daffy's quick attempt to try to propose to her within the moment. Daffy could be desperate like that, and it's also pretty funny. But back to the main story at hand, Bugs now has to set up Viola's room in a rough part of town. Taking Daffy's furniture just sets up more problems that admitting he's wrong would avoid easily. So not only is Daffy now out of furniture for his room and now on the streets looking for a place to stay, because of a misunderstanding, Bugs has now spent more energy doing all of this that he could have avoided with the Peach Festival. Now with misunderstanding episodes, I've always been the person to have a rough history with them. As rough as this town here. Considering it's easy to make someone stupid or evil for an easy episode, with no real motivations to switch their characters like that. For Bugs, I don't really see any reason why he wouldn't try lying to get out of the Peach Festival. And a great thing that the writers did subtly, was also describe in great detail why the Peach Festival doesn't appeal to him early on in the episode. And it's also a great touch that Bugs didn't think any of this through, which leads to him reacting on his gut. And because he hasn't lied before, and thus doesn't have the experience, well, he kind of goes from bad to worse to worse. Because yes, folks, it does get worse. Well, we did it. Viola's all moved out. We can go with you to her new place. Oh, that's a great idea. She's gonna need help in moving in. No, she's moving to... Uh, Albania. And it does get worse from here. But we get to another part here that I can gush hours about. Daffy joining the Marines. Now the idea of Daffy being within such a heavily disciplined area like the Marines is definitely such a great idea that it is a tragedy that it's only used here as a side plot. Having Daffy in an army episode within the calm slice of life atmosphere of the Looney Tunes show sounds legendary. And here we do get a few nuggets of really funny, just great stuff, but man, it really makes you think about what it could have been. I don't want to spoil them all, but if you were to check out anything from this episode, these scenes towards the latter half of the episode really stood out as my favorite moments. We also get to another important scene where Bugs fake calls Viola but really calls Speedy, who tells him to quit while he's ahead so the situation doesn't snowball. Unfortunately for Speedy, Bugs is way too deep to get out at this point. He's gonna snowball! It's gonna get out of control, man. It already has. Now out of every Looney Tunes show episode, this is one where it gets the craziest. And I wanna skip over the whole Daffy Army stuff because I really want you guys to see that part and not explain every nook and cranny that made it funny. But just know that Daffy over time gets more disciplined than when he started as you may have predicted. So of all a Bugs lies, that all comes to a height when now, he not only has to dress up as a girl, but he also indirectly is being forced to fly to Albania. Because in Lola and Porky's words, Make sure you look out the window when you take off. Emily will be waving. This leads into Bugs being viewed as a spy, of course, and a poor one at that, that gets caught and jailed. So if you ever saw the clip on Twitter, that is why Bugs is in jail, because of his own incompetent lies. I also just love the character design from these buff Albanian dudes. In fact, not only just that, 
but all of the human characters in this show. So, um, guns, right? We see that they not only have guns, realistic looking ones, but they also use it. So what's the policy with guns with Cartoon Network then? It's hard to say because sensors most likely change all the time, but if I were a betting man, they can use it, but not show what happens on the other side, if you catch my drift of that encounter. And before you say, well, in regular show, they did show scenes of someone shooting a robot. That's technically different than shooting a person, but now, now, one year later, we get to this iconic scene that I posted on Twitter. And if I were to extend my thoughts from the tweet, I do enjoy this scene a lot. It's very foreign to what you would normally see, but what makes it good is that by following the story, you can tell that it is the same thing you usually get within the Looney Tunes show episode, just in the middle of a war. So if you're wondering, that's how we get to... Why did you tell Porky you were helping Lola move? I just told him so I wouldn't have to go to the Peach Festival. You lied? Who told you to lie? You did! The episode ends with Bugs blatantly calling Lola out for knowing. You mean it was all a lie? Why didn't you tell me? I did tell you. Oh, right. You totally told me. And I can see this being a flaw for many people within the episode. But remember, Lola is absent-minded, and that was the first time that Bugs lied. So story-wise, it makes complete sense for Lola to not believe him. But now Bugs gets to have his cake and eat it too. Because now he has to go to the Peach Festival, right when he gets rescued pretty much, learning not to lie or make better lies, whichever works I guess. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments down below and check out my other two Looney Tune Show reviews here. And as always guys, take care. Alpha out.